episode number four, Books Are Cowards podcast, where we last left off about a month ago, um, was was uh, taking a break from betting, because I was in a cold streak, um, still inside of it, it's been a rough month, so I guess, you know, it's a good time to talk about <clears throat> how to survive being in a cold streak. Personally, what I like to do is take a break and focus on other, you know, ways to make money. That's what I've been doing. It's been helpful. Um, Got to be nice to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Just really take a break. Um, assess your strategy. See what's working and what's not working. And uh, try to go from there. If you got, you know, friends you could depend on or, you know, talk to about, you know, kind of your process or, you know, anything you're missing, that's a good idea. Uh, <clears throat> I was able to talk to my guy, Sonny, you know, when I was dealing with this, so, oh, shit, so that, that, that helped a lot, so, if you got, you know, anybody you can, you know, depend on, when you're in a cold street, definitely hit them up, um, Definitely, you know, like I said, look for other opportunities to make money as well. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do. What you shouldn't do is just beat yourself up over and over. Um, sports betting is a uh, it's a field in which a lot of people lose a lot of money. So you're not alone. If it's happening to you, you're not alone. I'm with you. I'm your brother. Um, A lot of it is mental, you know, you're, you're not going to win every bet, but there's always tomorrow. Unit management, make sure you're not risking more money than you can afford to lose. A lot of times we risk more money than we can afford to lose. You know, most Americans, you know, don't have the means to be betting, you know, $100 every bet or, you know, more than that. Even less than that is tough. I lost $50 yesterday. On the fucking Leafs uh, team total. And uh, I was thinking about the spread, the puck line. That's what you guys call it, right? I was thinking about the puck line and it hit and the spread didn't hit. I mean, the team total didn't hit, but the spread hit. So I was frustrated with that. It's very frustrating. Um, Yeah, just a lot of bad beats for me. You know, I made my little Twitter thread. About half of them you know, are excruciating. Um. <sighs> Past two days, for sure. Brooke Lopez, double-double. He didn't get it. Next game, 22-15. Donovan Mitchell, bet on him twice in a row. 19 points, 21 points. Next game that I ban him, 14 points first quarter. Silly stuff like that. But you can't really let it, you know, change your process. Cause if you're even listening to a podcast like this, if somebody, you know, like me, who doesn't really have a big podcast platform, you know, it's pretty much a given that you know, take take your sports bets pretty seriously. So, <clears throat> just try not to get disheartened, man, and you know, just just, just fight through it, bro. Because everybody deals with the shit. Just don't chase your losses too bad. I mean, you're gonna chase them a little bit. I'm not stupid. Nobody, nobody's dumb. We're all gonna chase our losses, but only do it a little bit, bro. I'm not going to sit up here and think, oh, you should never chase your losses. I never do it. Because what? Imagine you lose money and don't try to win money after that. That's not realistic, bro. So just do it in a uh, you know, cautious way. You know? If you're doing parlays every day, maybe you know, try some straight bets. If you're taking double-doubles and triple-doubles every day, maybe try some points and rebounds or points and assists or rebounds and assists. You know? Points, rebounds, and assists, I mean. You know, just you know, make it easier on yourself. You don't gotta fucking go. You, know, you you can't build Rome in a day, so to speak. You know. So also gotta realize that you know life is uh life is short. So if if, if you're losing you know losing money in sports betting, and your life is still decent if you have your family, you know everything. You're blessed. So. It's good to keep that keep that in mind. Keep that mindset mindset if you can. 
and it'll help you stay in a better state. Um, yeah, it's tough though. It's tough for everybody. It's super tough for everybody. If you, if you guys ever you know need somebody to talk to about you know sports betting or life or anything, my doors are always open, man. Books are cowards on Twitter. That's me. That's me for sure. Um, so yeah. It's pretty much my PSA of how to deal with a cold streak. It's, it's pretty rough, but, you know, you'll get through it. You know, it won't break you. And you will never quit gambling. As long as I'm breathing, I will never allow you to stop gambling, ever. If you're so close to a million bajillion dollars, you don't even know it. Just don't give up. That's all you got to do. Stay, stay on the grind. Stay consistent. Stay disciplined. Make sure you have a job other than gambling. Make sure you're getting money other than gambling. It's tough, but we could do it. Just got to make sure you're not doing too much money on your bets and, you know, just, just, just try to stay consistent. Try to stay, God damn it, try to stay nice to yourself and you'll be okay. <clears throat> Other news. Looks like Russell Westbrook is coming to the Bulls. Looks like it. Looks like he's coming to the Bulls, uh, according to Brian Windhorst or whatever his name is. And Russ intends to sign with the Bulls once he gets bought out by Utah. That would be cool, I guess. Bulls need a point guard. You know, Alonzo was kind of like our facilitator, defender, good, you know, team, you know, leader. Helped us. Great spot up shooter as well. Like 40% on seven makes or seven attempts before he got hurt. Is big, you can't really, you know, take that in defense and play making out of a lineup and expect to, you know, still be a good team. Me personally, I wouldn't think so. But Westbrook coming in to the Bulls, supposedly, should bring a different, you know, tenacity to the team, so to speak. Um, I don't expect much, but it will be interesting for sure to see how this uh turns out. I'm all, I'm all years to hear you know, his fucking opening interview press conference whatever the fuck you call it want to see him play for the Bulls would like to see him you know on the court with Zach that should be should be hilarious probably see them get into a fist fight you know, who gets to you know dribble the ball more mm, I remember uh Remember when Russ was in Washington? There was like an article coming out about like should we trade Zach for Russ? And I was like, no way. And now I wouldn't give a fuck if we did. But now we have both of them. And it's crazy. So it should be should be fun. Should should be fun to watch. <clears throat> um so looking forward to that. You know, should 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 be cool. Should should be pretty smooth, man, overall. Um Bears are still a, you know what I'm saying, still a good team. Great team on the rise. First pick, a lot of money coming in. Um, around the league, we got Kyrie in Dallas. That's amazing. Mavs are fourth. Luka is my favorite player. I'm glad he's with Kyrie Irving. That should be a fun pairing. Should make a lot of sense. A lot more sense than fucking Zach and Russell Westbrook and DeRozan and Vucevic. But that's cool. <clears throat> KD went to the Suns. Nobody really cares. If they win the West, they win the West. Cool. If they don't, we're going to laugh at them. So, not really much to say there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I'm doing a, doing a football draft right now. I got I got pick 10. So, um, yeah. I got pick 10 in the draft. going to try to <clears throat> super flex dynasty. So going to try to get two quarterbacks. Obviously, like I always do, somehow. And uh, fill the team out from there. Uh, I haven't picked yet. I got, um, hmm, yeah, I've made two teams so far since I started the podcast. I got them both up on Twitter. Well, really only one of them. I got to update the thread for the second one. Get all my teams up there. Should be pretty sick. But, um... Yeah, so for the for the pods I do by myself, I'm gonna like you know just keep them shorter so we could get something daily going again. And then when I have a guest, obviously they'll be a little bit longer. But um, 
got a lot of guests, you know, on the horizon. It's been entertaining people. Got, got a lot of, you know, big personalities, so to speak. Um, yeah, just wanted to get everybody caught back up with with the podcast. Come back to it. Um, get back to making it every day. Uh, wherever you get your shits, you know, subscribe and all that. Tell people, hit me up, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna call one. Oh, yeah, guys, if, um, anybody, you know, I forgot what I was gonna say. Alright, well, fuck it, I'm gonna just leave it there. Alright, everybody, have a good day. Um, catch me on Discord. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Follow the fucking, uh, join the Discord. I'm gonna put the links down there. 50 Boys Discord. If anybody wants to join, you know, we sit in there. Talk sports all day, bets all day, you know, life pretty much. Catch us in there. <clears throat> got got uh, got any, you know, leans or need any, you know, questions answered, advice, all that shit. Let me know. Let us know. It's a free Discord, of course. We are happy to have everyone. And we'll talk to you later. Peace.